My name is Pat Gertis. I am a former emergency management director for a multi-county area in southwest and south central Nebraska. I also have over 30 years of fire and EMS uh, experience as well. One of the facets of emergency management and response is to do exercising, exercising of equipment, of uh, policies, procedures, uh, maybe plans, and sometimes those things are, are hard to do um, due to the fact that it's hard to get people to the table to assist, uh, to get everybody involved and um, go through the process of creating uh, an exercise. So I'm going to talk to you today. I, I just received a new product um, from the Blue Cell at Aurora, Colorado. And this is a package of tabletop exercise that we will discuss here just shortly and uh, what the advantages of having this uh, product available to you is. Also in the in the package when you purchase is you do get a challenge coin based off of the Command School tabletop exercise program that is a subsidiary of Blue Cell and you will get a copy of some instructions and a welcome package from the TTX Vault and the Blue Cell regarding your latest expenditure to purchase the tabletop exercise packages. Also in this is a username and password to allow you to utilize the Chelsea County uh, tabletop exercise portion of the Blue Cell website, which I also will explain here shortly. Okay, once you place the disc in, you'll see the item there, NIMS Exercise Package 1 2016. When you open up that, you'll see a couple of more folders that will open up. One is the Chelsea County USA 2016 share folder, the exercise packages, and the ICS resource disk. When you open up the ICS resource disk, you'll see another set of folders. In here, there will be a folder that has some informa information regarding the blue cell. There will be one on the Blue Cell ICS products, some extras, and then there will be several folders that have different forms from the Incident Command System in Word, in PDF, and some fillable Word and PDF as well. So I'm going to back out of that. When you open the Share folder, you're going to see a few folders here that have other files in it. The top one is the Chelsea County Emergency Operation Plan. The second one is Additional Plans. And the other one is the Finance and Budget and then there's the Chelsea County key locations as well as an overview sheet. Each one of the folders has some form of a document that could be utilized within the exercise piece. There is a finance and budget piece in here with, with three different budgets that might affect the finance and admin section of the incident command system or just your local jurisdictions. Then there were also is some key locations of the Chelsea County site. And I'm gonna back out one more time and take us back to the original piece. So we've looked at a couple of items. I'm going to drop down to the, the exercise package itself. Um, you would see this item, the NIMS Package Store Tabletop Exercise Package 1 2016. In that, when you open that, you'll see two more folders. One is the Chelsea County scenarios, and the second is your agency scenarios. So we're going to start with the Chelsea County. You're going to see active shooter, flood, hazmat, train derailment, and a tornado, as well as winter weather. So when we open the active shooter, what you'll see is a series of Word documents and one PowerPoint document. All the Word documents are based off of Homeland Security Exercise and Evaluation Program, or HC. You'll see there is Exercise Evaluation Guides, or EEGs. So there are three EEGs in here for evaluators to observe the exercise. There's also a situation manual, which will give you the information on the exercise, uh, the scenario, uh, the pieces that go with it, and then there's also an, a briefing in PowerPoint. Uh, then there is a just a summary of the exercise in there, and the, the big part is at the end that you do a hot wash to find out uh, what the strengths, maybe weaknesses, can be captured, put into the after action report, the AAR, and the improvement plan matrix, or IP. If I back out one more time, and again, I I had talked about the your agency scenarios. Again, the five that were in the Chelsea County scenario also show up here. The only difference in these is when you go into any of these, you actually will have to go in and use them as a blank, and you'll see the information will come up as a Word document. And you would go through and find the piece that you would want till you got to the exercise portion 
where the scenario is, and you would then evaluate that accordingly to your jurisdiction. And so that kind of tells you a little bit about what is in the disk itself. Or go to ttxvault.com. This is a place where the packages can be purchased. They're sold individually by scenario and as a package of five. If we drop down, you'll see the Chelsea County USA page. This is the Chelsea County USA webpage. This allows us to utilize everything in the package as well as you will get a password to get and a username to get into this site. So if we click on the Board of Commissioners, it gives us information regarding the County Board. If we go to the Emergency Management Office, it has a copy of the Emergency Operations Plan, which we saw in the disk itself. If you go to the Assessor's Office over here on the right, you will see there are multiple documents regarding maps of Chelsea County. The Roads Department will have information on its road closures. Uh, there's also information on construction of bridges and bridge closures as well that we might be listed in there as well as the district road offices. Under county health there is information regarding some school vaccinations, there's information regarding disease prevention, uh, birth and uh, death certificates, annual reports, and uh, information on contacting their local areas. So I'm going to go back up to the home page and take us back to the home page of Chelsea County. And this also, like I say, is another, another link to the use of the exercise packages to create a real world uh, plausible event based off of the multiple scenarios. With that, I would like to thank you for listening to the video today and look forward to your input um, on the packages as you go forward in your jurisdictions. Thank you.